This is number 11, right? I was just talking about it with JoJo. Vlog number 11. I can't believe it. I remember vlog number one. Nobody watched it. It wasn't that fun. It wasn't that exciting. Every single one is a practice. We're getting a little bit better. JoJo's got a monitor above. He's got his cables all over. It's, it looks good. He can hear everything. So today, obviously, we have a busy day. I don't even want to go into that, but we're now going to be doing three live shows a week. So leave your comments, leave your questions below as we walk into Jake's Roasters. It's been one of those things, again, going live. It's been on my mind for about a year, and also influencer interviews, that's been also on my mind for a year. So we finally unleashed the, the first one yesterday, was Serena Tom. She's actually my hot yoga teacher. Highly recommend going checking out, not only her work, but the interview. So if you guys know of an influencer, send them over our way. We already have a couple that are booked. Charles at Botenston.com. Let's go inside, let's go make some phone calls. Dude, I love how you just walked through that security. <laughs> yeah, you didn't even need a card. There he is, opening shop early. I know. How's everything? This is this is the guy. If you ever need anything at any time, I get things around here. He bakes. He mows lawns. I'm usually baked mow lawns. I know. Exactly. Yeah. We talked yesterday. Yeah. We didn't exchange. I'm Charles. Jessica. She's too busy. <laughs> There's a little Can you hear out of those things? Are those noise canceling? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I wish. What is going on here? Um, oh, hi. I didn't even know. He doesn't know we don't know. Yeah, we had no idea. Yeah, yeah, he just, he just follows me around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's gonna be on TMZ. So that's a perfect example of someone that is, uh, like I said in vlog number nine, which we're actually putting out today, you better watch, like, and subscribe. The reason that I actually just meet people in person, whether it's at Starbucks or whatever, because I'm terrible at online dating. So it was funny because we actually talked yesterday and actually a day before, which I don't remember, but it's a good segue into, oh, hey, how's it going? Let's just go out or exchange contact information. So. I tried the online dating, not for me. Now, a lot of people are asking about, is it a good time to buy? Is it a good time to sell? Really sort of brought this up last time, which we're in a purgatory era between Thanksgiving and Christmas and then New Year's. But I'll just talk about the general marketplace in under a minute. You have not a lot of inventory on the market. So when a seller puts it on, or an agent, I should say, when it goes on the market, the first open house is always usually pretty crowded. If it doesn't go after the first open house, then I'm a little bit concerned, okay? Then when it goes 17 days, then I'm really concerned. So that's usually the price. Right now, if you're a buyer, you're really not gonna have that much competition because a lot of people are not going to open houses. If you're a seller, I would either wait or just try and get that one buyer that's been looking for a while and they're willing to pay the price that you're willing to let your home trade for. So if you're a seller, maybe you could wait as a buyer. It's a good time to buy. All right, so we're gonna go live right now. We're, we test things out. We find out what's good, what's going on, especially with the internet connection, the lighting, to make sure that you guys have the top product. And then we're just gonna multiply and repeat that every single week. We're gonna have those three shows. Let's do BPIU, which is for the real estate agents. Talk to you soon. Always give me your feedback so we can improve. If you want to So we're gonna be going downtown. I just went live. So if you guys are not seeing it, you gotta see it. It's funny too, because actors will always complain about, oh my gosh, I had a 10 hour day, I had a nine hour day. I'm thinking in my mind, I'm like, doesn't everyone have that amount of time? But when you go and you need to entertain, especially if it's live, I have a lot of respect for Oprah and everyone else that's always, Wendy Williams, that are always on these TV shows live, David Letterman and whatnot. So we're going downtown. There's an owner that's overseas and he wants to know his pricing. Looking lovely. You knew we were gonna be filming today, do we not? If you start doing outfits for us, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. We're gonna make her into a star. So going back to that, we're actually gonna go check out his place. It was listed with another agent and it didn't go anywhere because it obviously wasn't listed with us. It would've if it was listed with us. 
but I don't know how long the exclusive was. The intricacies of vlogging. Jojo has his headphones in, and he's saying that, you know, obviously the audio isn't good and whatever. I have it literally under my tie. So if you want to know how we actually get all the audio, that's how we do it. By the way, this is a brilliant marketing idea by Jet. They literally, they've handcuffed the, uh, the Metro cards and there's big arrows. It's a brilliant marketing idea. I, I literally look at everything and I just say, how do we market like that? One of the biggest things as an agent, you gotta surround yourself with the A-team and the A-team is a good banker, a good louder. No. And a good videographer, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good banker, good attorney, and of course a good videographer. Just have that as the A-team, you keep on going to them, that's, that's everything. Because then you go to them, you rely on them, and they'll get the work done because they know you, they like you, you're obviously you know, providing them with referrals, and just it's just a big flow of business. So we had a, a banker that's literally getting the deal done, that is insane just weeks of back and forth, back and forth, and just getting this loan approved. Super excited, super excited. Hey, how's it going? I was literally about to say, this is where I started my real estate career, down in the financial district. I know these buildings like nobody's tomorrow. This is where I just hustled in 09. I had no money, actually for like two years because it was the recession, that's when I started. And uh, it's amazing to come back here and see all the buildings and everything else just come alive. We're going to a place, the owner is currently overseas for a couple of weeks. He had it listed with another agent. Because it wasn't us, of course it didn't sell. And we're gonna go do two things. Number one is check out the condition and then evaluate the price, which is very important. So you're gonna be able to see what I look at when I evaluate a property. Obviously there's comparables, but not every comparable is the same. So let's go check it out. This is actually kind of funny. I, I inspired one of my buddies to start doing uh, Instagram stories and whatnot, and he was doing an Instagram story across the street, and he actually almost got hit by a car. So his first one didn't go that well. What do you want to star in? Well, you already got a star on your shirt. Well, the stance is there. You're there for the stance. We need. We just need. Yeah, an emblem right there. Metal. Metals. Like Metals, Metal. just yes. just draping and yes. going in the wind. I love it. I'm Charles, by the way. Hi, I'm Magic. Magic? Yes, we just like magic. Just Where are you from? I'm from Poland. Wow. Uh, back in the day when I was a caddy, I knew how to say short shorts because this guy, he was six foot four. He was from Poland, mm -hmm. and he would wear the smallest shorts. <laughs> and I'm like, just like, uh, we can buy you longer ones. So a lot goes into it when you just first look around, you know, entering a place. High ceilings, probably a converted building. I actually remember seeing this back in the day. Really nice flooring, beautiful fridge, very large. A hallway can be upgraded a little bit because that's what people want. So you have a bedroom over there, proper size bedroom. Look at the size. Beautiful lights. This probably is one of the biggest master bedrooms I've seen down here. For a conversion, this is massive. This is great, the depth. So you have the, the closet that can be interpreted as a actual bedroom or not. You know, some people say as long as it's 70 square feet, each angle of the bedroom is seven feet in width and it has a window, then it could be considered a bedroom. If it doesn't have a window, then it's gonna be a home office. So this is one of the biggest master bedrooms I've seen. You know, it, it's moving ready, you don't really need to do anything, which is nice, uh, and it's completely cleared out. People will just do some aesthetics to it, that's about it. Obviously upgrade some things, maybe like the toilet, the mirror, the light, but this is, this is fine. And if, they, if someone wants to actually do a investment, that's perfect. Two bed, two bath. You know, this should, this should have went. There's only three reasons a home doesn't sell. Number one is the marketing, 
the price or they don't actually close or show the apartment. The marketing, the price, you could easily change, but getting a buyer to buy, that's something that's, you know, that's not easy. So I think that's what happened here is that they have a good product, the product is the home. The price was fine, the marketing was probably fine. They just didn't, they either didn't show it, they didn't host open houses, they didn't show it some love. So that's what we're gonna do. You get us involved, this thing's gonna sell. So I'm gonna make a call to the owner, give him my feedback, and we'll, uh, we'll take it from there. It's weird, I don't know what this is right here though. <laughs> For anyone that was born in the 90s, this is called a phone. This is actually more of an advanced phone because the actual dial tone was on a screen. I have never seen the dial tone. So this was the old cell phone. You know, you'd call from your car, hang up. The old car phones, look that up, Google that. So I don't think this one comes with the apartment, sorry guys, but well, you have to buy your own phone. So it was funny, uh, Jojo behind the camera and I were just taking a selfie and uh, you see it now because of Instagram and Facebook and everything else. You'll see this same person just take dozens of photos. They'll be like here, then they'll switch hands, then they go up top, a little bit down low, different background and then they load it into Instagram and then they post it. You are the best. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm, se I'm second best. Second best? Who's first? My boss. He's always the best. Was that just for the camera? <laughs> All right. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Obviously all the memories of coming back here from 2009 and then you got Deutsche Bank where my brother has been, I think a member. He's an executive up there. Maybe I should just knock on the door and tell him to come out for a little bit of lunch, but he's been there I think for about 20 years. So that's kind of a cool little artifact and uh, I don't think he'll be on the blog ever. You'll never meet him. So we're gonna be ending every single vlog on vlog question of the day. And this vlog question of the day is, how old were you when you bought your first home? Leave it in the comments below. Again, I'll talk to you guys soon. Until vlog number 12. Carrier, so funny. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha.